This is part 19 of Bootstrap Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to create a split button dropdown. First, let's understand what's a split button dropdown. Here is an example. Notice we've got two buttons here. We have a button on the left with the primary action and another button on the right which displays the dropdown menu with the rest of the actions. Let's see how to create the split button dropdown. Let's flip to Visual Studio. The first thing that I'm going to do here is create a button group because what we have here is essentially a button group with two buttons. One button on the left with the primary action and another button on the right which displays the drop down menu with the rest of the actions. So let's create a button group. To do that I'm going to create a div element with class set to btn group. And within this button group we are going to have these two buttons. So the first button says SQL Server. So let's create a button and I'm going to use some bootstrap button classes. Let's use BTN and BTN primary classes. The text on this button is going to be SQL Server. Let's create our second button now. And if you look at the second button within this button group, it's not displaying any text. It's only displaying this downward pointing arrow. So I'm going to remove this text which says SQL Server. And we want the second button to behave as a dropdown. For that, I'm going to use another bootstrap class, and that is dropdown toggle. This class specifies that this button is the trigger element, the element which shows or hides the dropdown menu. Now, in addition to these three classes, if we want this button to behave as a dropdown menu, we also need another data dash attribute, and that is data dash toggle and I'm going to set it to drop down. This attribute is required on the trigger element to show or hide the drop down menu. And then we want this button also to display this little downward pointing arrow. To get that little downward pointing arrow, I'm going to create a span element with class set to caret. Finally, we need to build our drop down menu items. To build the drop down menu items, I'm going to create an unordered list and set its class to drop down menu. And the list items within the drop down menu, we want these three items C sharp, ASP.NET, and ADO.NET. So let's create a list item. And I'm going to create an anchor element, set its href attribute to hash, and the value is going to be C-sharp. Let's create two more copies of these list items. And this is going to be ASP.NET. And this is going to be ADO.NET. So let's save our changes. And when we reload this page, we should get a split button dropdown. So when I click on the left button, you know, which represents our primary action. It's going to take us to the SQL Server page. And if I click on any of these menu items, it's going to take us to that respective page. Here's the HTML for that. Next, let's discuss how to create split button dropdowns with different sizes. Here, we have a large, small, and extra small split button dropdowns. Let's see how to create this. I'm going to make two more copies of the split button dropdown that we have just created. We want this last split button dropdown to be an extra small one. So I'm going to use btn group xs, xs standing for extra small. So this is going to give us an extra small split button dropdown. We want this to be a small one. So I'm going to use button group SM standing for small. So this is going to give us a small split button dropdown. Finally, we want the first one to be a large split button dropdown. So I'm going to use BTN group LG, LG standing for large. So let's save our changes. And when we reload this page, we should get three split button dropdowns with three different sizes. Here is the HTML for that. Finally, let's discuss how to expand the menu items of a split button dropdown upwards instead of downwards. So when we click on this button on the right, we want the dropdown menu items to expand upwards instead of downwards. Let's see how to achieve this. All we have to do is use a different class, and that is drop up. 
let's do that on all the split buttons that we have let's see what changes and when we reload this page notice the little arrow is pointing upwards now and when we click on that the items are expanding upwards instead of downwards we don't have enough room on the top so just to create some room on the top I'm going to make copies of this break element let's see what changes reload the page now look at this for all the split button drop downs we have the menu items expanding upwards instead of downwards here is the HTML for that. Thank you for listening and have a great day.